Geese came. The... Wait, what? to talk to you about my experiences from my read desk to yours about working with Guy's cane. As always, I bought two separate types, this time from Midwest Musical Imports. I bought the gouge shaped and profiled for $3.75 a piece and also the gouge for $2.10 a piece. Interestingly enough, if you don't want to have it shaped, you can also get it for $3 a piece. Okay, let's first dig in with the gouge shaped and profiled Guy's cane. Now this cane comes in with a tube that is about 29.5. It fits the Rieger 1A shape. Interestingly enough, the profile that they're using leaves a little bit of a ledge at the very back, just in front of where the collar would be. So be sure that you do go ahead and remove that, otherwise you might have a problem with your low notes if you do buy the Guy's cane. The profile from the gouge shaped and profiled Guise cane is coming in actually quite light. For a reed that comes in at about 55 millimeters in length, the tip comes in anywhere from about 48 to 50. The heart will come in at about 62 to 64. So this is very close to the measurements that I like on the micrometer for the heart, but it is just a little bit light. So be sure to leave the rails ever so slightly heavy. And the back of the reed comes in anywhere from 84 to 90. So you are almost dealing with a finished reed if you buy the geese gouge shaped and profiled. Now you know that I really come into my own opinions as I start working with the gouged cane, so let's go ahead and dig into that. The cane that I received from Midwest Musical Imports had a lot of variants, um, so much so that I took a picture of it and posted it on social media, and uh, Facebook erupted. Um, the, all of my Facebook friends had a moment of, uh, good luck was a common comment, or um, I hope that my geese cane that I'm ordering comes in um, better, um, and I ordered from a different vendor, so fingers crossed. Uh, there was a whole wave of different opinions, um, mainly because the cane had um, pigmentation in it, um, and variants of colors, and it just did not look consistent. Also, one of the pieces was missing bark on the back side of it, where the um, actually the reed would have had a wrapping on it had I made it into a reed, but at that point, I'm looking to create consistent results, and um, I think that the variance in color was enough of a struggle for me that that's where I wanted to just draw the line. The piece that also had a large portion of black running through it, I did not make into a reed. Um, so those are two pieces that immediately got thrown out. This left me with three pieces. The one that is the darkest in color, I went ahead and made into a reed and it proved to be absolutely resistant. Um, the other two pieces, one had a little bit more color variation than the other. The one with the color variation ended up with a wonky tip opening, um, largely due to um, deposits of harder portions of the cane versus softer portions of the cane. Um, so I did end up with a wonky tip opening. The last piece of cane, this is the shocker of I, my bassoon career. Um, turned out to be the best read I have made in months. Um, no joke, the best read out of all of the cane trials so far was the final piece of Guy's cane. Um, it had a warm density richness to the color from the moment that I clipped the tip. Um, the Glow Tan had been quite bright. Um, the Van Doren was so loud and just no flexibility. The Madeir had been um, great tone color, but just brittle and easy to crack. Um, and also sometimes the tip opening had little waves in it. Um, and uh, these are just canes that I'm dealing with off the top of my head that I know I've covered with you guys. 
this reed was everything that I wanted it to be. I mean, when it scraped, um, the cane didn't just shred off. Uh, there weren't any holes in it. There were no places of hyperpigmentation. It was, it was good. It was so good that I called Midwest Musical Imports. Um, actually, I sent them a couple of emails, um, and I spoke to Jessica there, and I said, hey, um, I bought cane from you guys, and I want to know if this is manufacturing from what Guy sent you, um, that I got such a variation of quality of cane, or, um, you know, because I don't want to order more if, if it's going to be like that. Um, and they said, okay, well, you never should have gotten the piece that had the barks um, that was missing off of it. And the other bits, they said those portions in the cane um, that had the variations could be removed because they were mineral deposits through multiple soaking experiences. So I am putting this out there to you. Do you guys have any experience with that? Um, is that something that you guys deal with? Um, I'm not sure about that, uh, especially because one of them made a wonky tip opening. So I'm a little bit on the fence about that. And um, they said that they had contacted Geese and said, hey, we need higher quality of cane. But because France is on, in August, so they're all on vacation for the month, um, they can't get any new cane until the end of August. And, you know, School year is up to start, um, Gigmas is coming, and uh, I, I have a lot of gigs coming in October. I don't know what happened, so I don't have time to wait or to risk the fact that they, you know, what is this quality of cane? So I did another order of Guy's Cane from Bassoon Cane, um, and I will link them in the description box down below so that if you are interested, you can go and uh, look at their cane. I also did an order of Silva Cane because you guys are so excited about this cane and you think that I should try it so I did order some of that um, I love the bassooncane.com website because it gives me the capacity to even choose how thick the gouges on the cane that I'm purchasing so um, stay tuned because I, I know that these are summer cane reviews but I have a feeling that this series is gonna go on a little bit longer like past Labor Day because because I do not have the stockpile of reeds that I want yet, and especially because I have discovered this reed, this one reed that was the magic reed, and now I want a whole bunch of these reeds that are just like this. So anyway, um, shocker there, but I will keep you posted on the cane and uh, my experiences with purchasing from bassooncane.com as um, I go through this. Okay guys, I think that wraps up my experiences with Guy's Cane, the shocker of my summer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want up to the minute experiences of my cane um, and when the cane arrives um, from a soon cane, uh, be sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, trying to get more into Snapchat. So I'll probably try to post there as well. Um, if you like this video and you don't want to miss any future videos, be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!